professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Uh, subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Is red pill for losers? And it could be. I mean, I can't sit here and lie. Um, it could be. Then one in, yeah, and one in, no. And, and the reason I say that is this. Um, objectively speaking, some guys could a red pill be, because, you know, Maybe they got betrayed or whatever, right? A hurt, whatever. And they became quote unquote red pill or quote unquote red pill rage, angry about it. And have to look at society in a different way. And other guys are quote unquote red pill because it's a way to it's a difference between it's a it's a way to not actually live. And what I mean by that is some guys aren't using red pill knowledge or awareness or whatever you want to call it to watch out for for you know the, the potholes in life some guys are using it to, to, to not even get on the road and take any journey in life so for those guys they would be considered losers because it's like you know okay we we you know what can happen you know what's gonna happen you can kind of see if you get in this situation this is it can go this way or that way but to say i'm not doing any anything at all is kind of like eh, you just you use a red pill to be a loser but then the flip side of that is this some guys like okay yeah i'm red pill but this 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 is what i want to do with my life so i'm gonna do what i want to do with my life and yeah, I could be red pill along the way, but that's not going to stop me. You know, if I hit a few hiccups, so be it. But that's not going to stop me. And the interesting part is, and, and when guys are called losers, I don't really, I don't really, it doesn't bother me, but, but when I, sometimes when I look at creators called, I guess the red pill subscribers losers, one of the things that cracks me up about that is you were in some ways pandering to these guys because you knew they were not leaving the internet. So you kind of, you 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 pandered to them like Derek Jackson would, and they never left the internet. And then you turn around and you you took a dump on them like y'all some bums, y'all you know. It's like well you knew. You knew who you were actually dealing with. You you knew the people who were probably more of um, socially awkward or people who were kind of shut-ins were the were probably the bulk of your followers if you have a huge following. And the reason I said it is because you know from my experience, I've come to find there there are a lot of guys who are online. And very and participate a lot online, but they don't really participate in life offline. So online is their thing. They're kind of it's kind of like gaming, watching TV and movies, and being online. Like that's pretty much their social experience. And there's not little. Uh, there's a small social experience outside of that. So these guys know. Okay, my the, even though these guys may. Um, you might some of these guys may super chat some of these guys may um, if you got courses they might buy the courses uh, it, you know some of y'all do coaching with some of these people and y'all coach these people and they pay for coaching and truth be told I think there's plenty of times where the guys know even if I give them all the game these people are pretty much you know shut-ins who are not gonna go out into the world and use it anyway so you know, sometimes I think it's out of frustration you call the guys losers because it's like, man, you asked for all this information, I gave you all this information, and you still didn't use any of it for your benefit. You're a bum. You're a sucker. And then at the same time, it's like, well, let me just keep making material for this sucker because, you know, you're going to keep me paid. But you lash out at him. And then some of these guys get offended. It's like, I'm not a loser. And it's like, well, I mean, you sure? And then other guys who like, you know, they'll take the information, but they'll implement some things in their life. They kind of look at it like, yo, well, it, to me, it comes across that. They look at it like, okay, I'm a loser, whatever, dog. Like, I just ain't going to watch you no more. 
I, you know, now I see what you, how you really feel. You know, and a person like me, I know I've made a lot of content. I know I've offended some people from time to time. If they don't rock with me because of that, I understand. Um, you know, if I was out of pocket, hey, I was wrong. I apologize. You know, and that doesn't mean you still you rock with me because I apologize. That means my bad. I, I was wrong. Um, but when you go around, you know, when you, when you say guys are losers and guys get upset or, you know, why are you following this guy? Why are you following that guy? You know, I've said it before. And I think this is the issue at the end of the day. Um, YouTube is a big platform and a lot of people have been, gotten, uh, become rich and famous in some ways from the, the content that they make on this platform. But with that, but at that same note, there are a lot of people who are disingenuous, fraudulent, like scumbags that have gotten real big. And the issue sometimes is a lot of the followers of those people, you can't get mad at the person that you followed and you like so much if they turn on you because you you know you know uh, uh, sometimes y'all like this. I like this vicarious, passive-aggressive throwing somebody under the bus for your entertainment, and then you get you 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 you're so into it that people go like, "Man, y'all know why you here, you know." But so what? I'm throwing them under the bus. I'm gonna throw you under the bus in a minute, and people get offended. Like, no, you just supposed to dump on them. Don't dump on me. And it's like, well, bro, you know. And I've said before, like, if you want to be red pill, you know, you need to be red pill with yourself, too. Like, some some guys are, are good guys and some guys are losers. And for the guys who are red pill and are losers, you know, it is what it is, man. If you want to be a winner, change. I mean, point blank, period. You know, if you don't, don't. But some of y'all are going to realize that at the end of the day, at a certain point, some of this stuff is just entertainment for views and clicks and likes and shares so people can make money because there's a demographic that, that knows, yo, some of you guys are never going to actually, or you're not intending to grow up and change. So you just, you're showing up to be entertained. So if your life doesn't go anywhere because you've been looking for that entertainment, this, the content creator that you, the content creators that you like so much and you frequent so much, if you see them successful and and then and, and they get and they and they look at look down on you at a certain point, you gotta ask yourself the question. I mean, that's what you gave your life to. Like your subscriber says a lot, man. You know, there's a lot of people. People are big and people hate on them because they're big. And there are a lot of people who they're big, and people have a reason to not like them. But their subscribers love them, and the question is, maybe you're just like them. You're just not in that position. So. Um, so some guys may be losers, but the guys who aren't, they know, like, they, they get information, and I'm going to take this information, I'm going to use it, I'm going to take that, I'm going to use it. But they'll rotate around and just find information to be a better person. But some of you guys just trying to find a show, and then you get mad if the show turns on you. I mean, don't, I mean, it's a waste of time to be mad. I mean, that's what you like. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna say it again.